All right. Okay, so we're going to do pop-up readings. Okay, this weekend. Okay, and I'm going to start. Let's see, I did Leo. It was Leo Aquarius. It was Mars and Leo. Okay, so now we're going to, let's go ahead and do another fire sign. Let's go to uh, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius pop-up reading. Let's see what pops up. Sagittarius pop-up reading. Okay, let's see what comes up. Sagittarius. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. I, I see what it is. Okay. Now, for some of you, you had some tough times around work. Okay. But now it's like smoothing out. You know, it's like uh, icing on the cake. When you smooth out the cake on top, that's what it feels like. Okay. Like things are smoothing out. So, for some of you, um, you dove into work to get out of some sort of heartbreak. Okay. Now, let's see. Now, for some of you, that could have been focusing on things that didn't feel good. Uh, for some, it could have been the war. Um, for some of you, it's like through work, you avoided the tower, like some kind of tough energy. Okay. And, but the feelings are hidden or masked. Now, for some of you, this moon here is, what is hidden is the abundance that's coming in. Because I was doing that uh, Leo, it was all about the abundance coming in, but I'm getting that feeling too. It's like, what's hidden is um, where you felt like you burned some bridges or whatever, money's still coming in. Okay, so it's like you're going to make peace with it. All right, so let's see uh, what that moon card is. That's what I'm getting. Uh, the hidden aspect is more money is coming in. It's going to be like big surprise. <laughs> That's so funny because this morning I was like, how do the cards do that? <laughs> anyway, the ten of pentacles. <laughs> All right. There's no need to worry about finances right now. Expect the money to show up. Your bank account may get a bump from a, a promotion or an offer of a better job. Invest for long term as well. Think about how you can create a stable financial future and keep the prosperity flowing. Now, what I'm getting is that you wouldn't even dream of leaving the job you have. It's just that some, sometimes when the hard times come in, um, you feel like it. That's what I'm getting. I feel like that's for masculine. Now, for the feminine, I feel like you've been burying yourself in work for some of you. Okay. And what's really hidden is you would like to have uh, your forever person and uh, have your... Um... Oh, since we're talking about cake, having your cake. Okay. So... Oh, in another reading, we got we had marriage and cake by the ocean. Okay, so that's the feeling. So it's like you've crossed some sort of bridge, or this could even be like taking it to the next level. Now, Leo got the world card, and it's kind of feeling the same way. Okay, now the key to that is if you're the emperor energy, that's a masculine energy. It's a doing energy, so you want to be open to receive Okay, um, the stuff that's coming. All right, now here, let's see what the next card is. Woo! Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like, you know, when you go to the casino or something and you hit 777 and you won. <laughs> but for some of you, this is like, um, this is not like Moses Millionaire. They said this is like Moses Billionaire for some of you. All right, so this is nice. Okay, we're talking about big money management here. All right. Now, for some of you, you want to leave a legacy. 
Okay, now what is this legacy I'm feeling here? All right, so it's like you're thinking of the future generations and I feel like you pull on this energy to inspire you. Okay. All right, this collective energy, I want to say. All right, so, and that's what's hidden. Again, I already said it before the cards came out, was that what's going to be surprising is your fortune's going to come in. And the the good news about this is this is not just money, because a lot of you are probably like, um, do I really need more money, right? Um, and I feel like just allow the flow, right? And then that's where the partner comes in. Okay, for some of you. All right, now for some of you, you're working on your mastery. And again, this came out in Leo, this card, this feeling. Okay, so it was like, um, it's like if you're working on your mastery and to do a job right, uh, make sure you don't uh, take shortcuts that would make it um, less you know, great. Okay, now this card encourages your impulse to learn new things and to put new skills to good use. Don't stop investigating things. Take a class or learn a craft. Whatever you are undertaking, give it your all. Only when you dedicate yourself completely to a task will you see the results you desire. Okay, now for some of you, um, it's like you you don't have to do much. It, it's like it comes natural what you do for work and the abundance just flows. Now, for some of you, it's like you wish your love life could uh, flow that way. Okay, sometimes it does. It's like that almonds joy got, nut, got nuts, mounds don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming up. <laughs> anyway. I don't know why that song's coming up with this. <laughs> all right, so, all right, now, I feel like if you're keeping tabs on an ex, I feel like you've stopped doing that. And if you haven't, that's the key to stop doing that. Yeah, let go of your regrets. That's the message. And cool, you know, it's like fierce energy. Oh, I see what they're saying. It's like, show your warmth since you are a fire sign. Um, and I feel like that will even soothe your soul. Okay. That's what I'm getting. All right. See? And then that will bring in... The love you've been calling for. Okay, so. All right. Now, for some of you, this is like renewing your love that you already have. Okay, now let's see. Where did those lovey dovey cards go? <laughs> All right, let's see where those lovey dovey cards. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, here's the lovey-dovey cards. Okay, they're under here. All right, so let's see what the lovey-dovey card says. Okay, now someone offers you a heartfelt gift, it says on the card. Love spills over to tell someone how you feel. All right, so that's what it is. like showing your love and warmth. Don't play it cool and uh, not open up. That's what the message is. Okay. Oh, here it says, that's interesting. Don't dam up the feelings of this moment. Let them flow freely. See, it's all about the flow. And that's what I was picking up a beaver in another reading. All right. All right, now let's see what it says about lovey doveys See, that's what I was talking about. That's like that queen of swords, not showing it. Your, uh, how you really feel. All right. Now, for some of you, there is a partner, a uh, person of interest, I want to say. Mm, what is this? Material attachment. Too much focus on visible trappings. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's get another one. What's the next one? Hmm. What is this shenanigans? Oh, I see what it's saying. It says your worth aren't isn't dependent on the other person. Oh, for some of you, well, have you considered this, if this re applies to you? It may not apply to everybody. Okay, so I, I would say it probably doesn't. Now, if you are the kind of person that um, would only go with people who had, um, who were in a connection, right? That, oh, I get it. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, I see what they're saying. Okay, now... If you were the one that was only going into relationships where people were already committed or attached in some kind of way, whether it was for material, oh, and they were saying to you that they weren't in love with them, that they were just uh, connected uh, in a material way, huh? Okay, so they kept giving you the hope that you would be uh, together but then they weren't. But then they're asking you, instead of feeling regrets about that, um, ask yourself if really what you desired was personal freedom. And so, therefore, there was a certain degree of not having to commit. Okay. And you can move freely because Aquarius energy, if, if it's like air energy, loves freedom. And if you're the kind of person who likes to gallivant around and be free, it's like that you might have subconsciously been choosing a partner like that, even though deep down this is what you want, union and love. Okay, so if that's the case, they're saying you are worthy to be with someone who is not connected to someone else. Okay. Now, for some of you, that might have been subconscious, not feeling worthy enough to have, like, a partner um, all to yourself. Now, what is that? Now, for some of you, that could have to do with some sort of dynamic with um, multi-partners. Okay, so I don't have a clue about all that, so... Um, but anyway, I feel like that's what it could be for some people. Okay, now. All right, there's all kinds of things that people agree to. Um, but that's the key, isn't it? It's like all parties, uh, if they're saying they're okay with this, then it, all parties should be uh, open and agree and make the agreement. Okay, because that could affect your worth, too, if you're hiding, right? If you're sneaking around, that could affect your self-esteem. All right, now, on the bottom, it says, Rekindle an Old Flame Returns. Now, that came up in another Sagittarius reading. I'm almost 100% sure. Okay, now, on the next card is Marriage Seed. Wedding Bells are ringing. Now, for some of you, that one... Uh, wasn't leaving that other one. All right. So you might have given them an ultimatum, right? Reaching out. Expect a call from your person of interest. Okay. Now, for some of you, it's like some time would pass after you broke up with that person and they're just called to say hello and just check in with you and see if you're okay. And that's nice. Uh, it's like at some point, if you're wondering if you could be friends with them again, the answer I would say is yes. Okay. And that relationship was a growth spurt for ascension. Okay, now. What's interesting is, I feel like spirit's leading you towards this kind of dreamy, 
romantic encounter. And a clue might be that you get a gift from them. Okay, like a little, it doesn't have to be a big one, a sentimental gift. Okay. All right, now for someone, you were hoping that you could marry your person. Okay. Because you guys were buds, best friends. Okay. And if you're going to go back that with that one that you broke up with, you would have to forgive completely. Allow healing waters to wash away the pain of the past. Okay. And that's what I was getting, the unexpected connection. Opposites attract. Okay, so I feel like there's another one coming in. And that's a surprise. Now, since you got like this kind of... Um, and healing connection. So you got this kind of mask ball feeling. So it might be around autumn, right? Okay, that's the feeling that I got with that. Okay. All right. So I feel like for the past person, you're over it. Okay. And, um, and you, uh, and I feel like, you're going to be busy managing all this stuff here, so I feel like love's just going to walk in, whether it's a new person or a past person, and it's going to say hello to you. Okay. Bing! <laughs> I shuffled in. That was the next card. Perfect match. You complete each other in the most harmonious way. Now, that was coming. That harmonious energy was coming up when I pulled the world card um for leo okay felt like union or unity and harmony Ooh, okay so maybe you're connecting with another fire sign okay it could be an old flame okay that one keeps coming up <laughs> all right so this one keeps wanting to come up I feel like this represents some, uh, some sort of holiday ball or a mass ball or something like that. Let's see what the hidden element is with that encounter. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> because we're nosy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ace of Cups came out twice. Okay, so let's read this. Someone offers you a heartfelt gift. You got two gift cards. That other card was a gift card too. Love spills over. Oh, I already read that. Love spills over to tell someone how you feel. Emotions may be a bit much for now, but remember that they are like the water. Don't dam up the feelings at this moment. Let them flow freely. So that's, you got that twice. Let it flow. All right, so what's the next card? Woo, you got Wheel of Fortune twice, too. See, that's what I was talking about. It was just felt like cha-ching, all this money. It's like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you know how you go to a casino? I don't know. Some of y'all have never been, but I, I have an Asian mother that loved those places, so I had to go with her a couple times. Anyway, it's like ding, 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 all the winning bells, right? And then, so, ooh, that could be wedding bells. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, anyway, so, um, then it's like you, you stay in there until like 3 or 4 in the morning, and it's time to go to bed, and then when you lay down, you're still hearing the sounds, even though you're at the end of the thing. Anyway, it's like that. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting. Like, money just keeps coming out. Okay. All right, now, what is this? justice all right let's see what that is Woo! all right so 
there's that sword again. Okay, so that's the key. You don't want to be cool. You are a cool person. You don't have to, like, be cool uh, when it comes to a loving person. You can show your warmth. See the fire? All right, anyway, for some of you, it could be a Libra or an Aries. And also, Mars is in Leo uh, transit. So, um, Mars, okay. Now, Lovers is, so you're going to have... For somehow, for some reason, you're going to have uh, better communication with your person. All right. Now, for some of you, you might have felt like they were cheating on you. But for some of you, um, they weren't. That's a message for somebody. Now, there's that mountain. All right, now for someone, you felt like they were, like, putting some sort of love magic on you. All right. Or a Libra might think that you're putting some sort of love magic on them. Interesting. You might try someone older, I feel like, for someone. Hmm. All right, so this is reversed. Five of Cups reversed. Okay, so I feel like whatever was... Um, let bygones be bygones, they said. Okay. Um, water under a bridge or... I don't know. What, anyway. So see, this is you feeling like love again. I like it. <laughs> it's like you're enjoying the drama unfolding around love but see look at this thing in the back the wood in the back it almost looks like coins everywhere too all right so all right i'm getting that now this that's interesting this came out for leo also didn't it So it's like, um, keep your ears open. Okay, keep your ears open for new opportunities. Now, for some of you, it has to do with writing a book. Um, now, if you feel like that's daunting or whatever, I feel like, you know, they have people who would do it for you. All right. But I feel like it's like, listen up for the opportunities. And if there's something that you desire, um, speak up about it. And that's what I'm getting. This is like um, looking into the mirror and seeing money. <laughs> Now, what's interesting is I felt like the message here was try someone older, but here's a younger one trying to offer something to you. And it's like, maybe you feel like it's beneath you. Let's see. Might be a Scorpio. Okay. Now, I think younger Scorpios might um, be more, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it might be a Scorpio offering something. Okay, so water or earth sign. Okay, so they might mature and come to you after they've done some reflecting, okay? And then they come back and say, hey, I want to give to this. Now, see, there's a scales here, too. That could be Libra or Aries. For some of you, that could be balancing out your polar opposite sign with your sun sign, which is Gemini. Now, 
This is the ending of a cycle. Now, what is that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, in the past, okay, it's like whoever this person is, you have money and you have, um, you had a connection and it's like, you felt like there might have been a little bit of, um, uh, what is that? Lackluster in the passion department. Okay, but that cycle's ending where it's all about just work and money. Love is coming in. So you've got nine of cups and nine of pentacles. So what you've been dreaming about and desiring in this, uh, Love world is manifesting in the physical reality. Ooh. Oh my gosh. What is that? Ten of Cups. Okay. Now what I'm picking up with this is Las Vegas. I don't know why. Okay. They have bowling alley in Las Vegas. Oh, for some of you, it might be award ceremony. Okay. Now, I'm getting like some sort of dancing thing, like swing or something like that. Is that still in? Might be someone who's into retro stuff. All right, but that's, you got all those love cards. So that's what I was talking about. Love is just flowing. Woo! Okay, so you got the magician and the seven of cups, and he looks like a magician here. All right, so that is the tower here. That's already happened. I feel like whatever that is in this cup is like you both needed to open up more and trust more. Okay, so that's that. And what's this cup? All right, these are the wars and the uh, recognition and all that that's coming in. All right, now what is this? Oh, that's a hill, hidden element. It might be at a mass ball or some sort of holiday Halloween thing. All right, now what is that? That kind of reminds me of Christina Aguilera. I don't know why. Okay, anyway, what is that? Yeah, I feel like whatever it is, you might be in showbiz or something. You're going to have a different look about you whenever this uh, connection comes in. And here's that diamond ring. So someone's getting married. Might be, this is, could be Pluto. So could a Capricorn could be offering a wedding ring. Okay. That's for someone. Now it could be a water dragon offering a wedding ring. All right, let's see, Seven of Cups. Now for some of you, you're gonna keep going from that past person. It's like if you were indecisive about it, you were decisive now. Woo, yeah. You're clear about it. Okay, so yeah, taking action on it, moving on it, not sitting around. Oh, that's what they're giving me. There's two types of Sagittarians here. There's the one type.